Good morning, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to week 11 of the Marguerite Miller Challenge. This week we need an object that makes a familiar sound and I really thought hard about this and I finally settled on a cardinal. Um, I, as a kid growing up in Rochester, New York, cardinals made nests in our backyard or in the neighbor's backyard and I'm very used to their sound. Last year, we had a couple of cardinals who made a nest on our front porch. And it was absolutely wonderful to, to hear them again. So an object that makes a familiar, familiar sound is not so much an object as a uh, an animal or bird. But yes, that's there. Something found in space. I just recently cut up um, an encyclopedia. And so I found stars. This is a um, constellation. And I have that. I also have a sticker here with the planet Saturn. And I don't know if I'll use both of those, but I got them there. An art scrap. This was a piece of, um, what is it? Graph paper. Thank you. Graph paper that I had died at one point and ended up getting smooshed when I tried to do something else with it. And I thought, that's a perfect scrap. That's an art scrap. Something soft. This was hard. I was looking for a piece of fabric, maybe a little velvet or something. I couldn't find anything. But I found a pom-pom. So it's very soft, nice and soft. So we're going to use the pom-pom. A set of three of something. Again, that one took me a little bit of time but I found this absolutely adorable washi sticker with three little bunnies in it. There's a bunny family and there's a whole bunch of other stickers on here, but I'm going to use the one with the three little bunnies. Bonus is tissue paper or a napkin, and that's what this is. This was a piece that I had, um, what's the, Mod podge before to make it stiff. And I've used it on a couple of things. What I'm going to do today is just take a piece of it. I think I'm going to take actually a fairly large piece of it. I've used some of it in my Mexico journal. So I want to leave that over there. And do I want to go this way or do I want it to go this way? I think I'm going to go this way with it. And for this, I am going to use Fabri-Tac because I don't know how well um, the glue stick would work on this kind of material. Um, I did make a mistake at, on it when I did it. I thought I had all the ply off. I did not. I have since ripped off a bunch of it. I think I'm good. So we'll go ahead and just use it this way. Not going quite all the way to the edge because I know it's going to hang over, so I'm going to have to cut it. And let the air go back up in the bottle so I can make more. I've got to fill this up again. I, You know, it seems like I'm always filling up this bottle. But I, I prefer the smaller size rather than, I have, a, I have the large one, but I use the large one to fill up this little one. Just makes it easier. There we go. All right, let's put that right smack dab in the middle. And like I said, I will cut off the edge. I could leave it hanging out like a tab, but I think I won't. I'll just take that part off. There. If I need to throw a little more in there, now I can. There, that's not going to go anywhere. All right. So uh, by the time you are seeing this, I, I'm actually filming ahead of time because I have, um, I'm going to just take a piece of this as well. I have a scrapbooking retreat, and I, which is really cool. I have never been on a scrapbooking retreat before. And um, it's in Auburn, New York. It's being run by Scrapbook Creations. Technically, it is a scrapbooking retreat rather than a junk journal retreat. But 
I can't find any junk journal retreats. And she assures me that, you know, they have junk journalers there too that, that work. And to be honest, I both scrapbook and junk journal. So I know how much the two um, disciplines overlap, which is quite a bit, actually. They overlap a lot. I have two different pictures. This one's kind of a blurry picture. Here. But it has the artist's name part of it. I cut part of it off by accident. Um, that's Matt Robbins. Okay. And obviously this was from a calendar. I'm going to go ahead and cut this down. I'm going to use my cutter for that. After I put my glue top back on. Uh, because I just want, I don't want all of the top part. So we're just going to cut this down so we can focus more on the cardinals. There, that's a little better. Cardinals show up a little bit better there. Okay, before I put too much more down, let's figure out where I want to put everything else. I think I'm going to put my bunnies over here because I want them to show up. In fact, let's go ahead and take the bunnies off. This is a washi sticker. I probably should glue it again, but this is not a journal that I'm selling. This is my, what do you want to call it? Art book? Uh, collage book? It's just for me. There. Close that up. Oh, that's good. You put that down with that on it, and you didn't seal this down. Good going. Let's try that again. Let's put some glue on here. And then we will put you in place. There. That works. There are no mistakes in crafting. Only opportunities. I don't know how well that's going to hold on the on this, so I'm going to throw just a little bit of my Fabri-Tac underneath it to hold it. There. That'll hold it down. Because it's sticking fine on the paper part, it just doesn't like the napkin part. Still trying to curl up on me. There we go. All right, so now we have, I have my little fuzzy, which might go right there. I know normally you would put the stuff, the sky stuff in the, do we need to cut you down at all? No, I think we can just stick you down there. Okay, well, there's my glue book. Okay, we know that that's not going to work for this, so let me just go ahead and put it in the bin. And put our constellation in. I thought about doing something like the actually what I wanted to do when I couldn't find a picture without, you know, that didn't have copyright and all of that, of the Enterprise. NCC 1701. I wanted the original Enterprise. I'm just going to put a glob of glue here. And stick you there. There. I like him up there. Is this a sticker? Well, I think I had this question last week. I used something, I didn't know if it was a sticker or not a sticker. I think it is. So let me grab a piece of tape. And let's see if we can peel that top off. There it goes. See how easy that is with the tape? Oh my glory. It just comes right off. There. And then, do I want to? No, I don't think I do. I was gonna. I was gonna maybe um, 
distress around the edge, but I don't think I really need to with this. This particular piece is not a distressed piece. So there we go. Um, I, if you are doing the Marguerite Miller challenge, please let me know so I can come find your stuff and take a look at what you do so I can get ideas. Um, I'm still very much a learner on all of this and trying to figure out collage. Um, I've never put a 3D piece in like that before, so we're going to see how that works. Um, yeah. So if you are enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the like button if you would like, if, if you like it, because that lets YouTube know that you like what I'm doing. Um, I guess that's it for this week. I will see you on Monday with another Maker video. Mon Maker Monday video. All right. Till later. This is Cindy signing off.